Okay, so I think we had free time. Leave the area. Just leave. On that. Okay. Right, so what are we doing now? I think it was free time right now. So my favorite girl right now, a wife in this game, is Oi. Okay. She's my favorite, bruv. I like Oi. Alright. Where would they be? I guess she's in the pool again. Oh no, they're in the laundry room. Okay. Let's go to the laundry room. That's the dining room. Not the laundry room, bruv. Get out, go back. What are you doing? B, escape. Alright, now. I want to laundry out. Yeah, Cruise, if you've never seen gameplay of this game before, apparently it's a very. Um, popular game and people have suggested to me to play it so here we are we're playing it okay um we're also going to upload like the videos or the episodes on youtube um i'm now going to play the game in like hour sessions so that the recordings are uh, smaller rather than three hours three hours of playing this game too much um to be able to like render edit down render and then put it out on youtube so um, each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player's true homework. That's a quote from the famous rugby player, Yuji Matsuo. Rugby? They like rugby? Big up the rugby. Gotta do the same thing, cooperate so we can survive. Hmm, should I hang out with Hina? Of course. Of course, who doesn't want to hang out with Hina? Love her, mate. Love a bit of Hina. My favourite in this game. Hina and I grew a little closer today. About to give her a present. I don't have anything to give her. First trial was fun. First trial was cool. I like the way you have to like go objection. Hey Makoto, I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? Woke up earlier than normal this morning. So I decided to do a push up, sit up, and a squat set. Ended up doing a thousand. Why is she so. Bruv, I like her, but she's too. too obsessive over this fitness bullshit, bruv. Like, she thinks she's gonna get coronavirus if she doesn't do enough workouts. Well, that would explain it. Tired, so tired. I want something sp want those things you get when you f mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs. Deep frying. The what now? Oh, uh, what, pancakes? Churros. No, not donuts. Oh, donut? Oh, it is donuts? I thought it was churros. Oh, I got it right. Never mind. Okay. Imagine the warm churiousness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You'd eat the crap out of that, right? Right, so she's conflicted. So she loves that shit, like donuts and stuff, but she's also trying to stay healthy. Just a second. Is there anyone who doesn't who on earth, no one in the whole universe could say they hate donuts? Um. Think about it. The sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods your mouth, then the softness dough cushion. Next you get the hint of egg and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. Not like this not that deep, bro. It's not that deep, bruv. I just like a donut. Talk about the donut affected. That's what they're talking about. Absolutely not true. It's just not. I like a donut just as much as the next person. Okay. But I don't, I don't think when I eat a donut. Ah oh, yes, ah oh, yes. I'll take it anymore. I'm brooding like Niagara Falls over here. Just a Get out of my way, Makoto, or I got an uppercut with your name on it. Bitch, I'll uppercut you. <laughs> Wait for me, God of Donuts. Almost before she's done talking, here took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Bruv team. Okay. Went back to my room because she's fucking wanting some donuts, mate. Oh, it's bedtime. New day. Coming up. We call it oi, mate. Oi, mate. Rough. Free ed. School announcement. School announcement. Hello. Night time is quickly approaching. Oh. But before it arrives. Before. All students. Please gather in the gym immediately. Oh no, again? Again? Emergency! Emergency! Oh, what? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Someone dead in the gym? Yoko. Indeed. Yes. Right. I imagine it's gonna be good news. Goodbye. Okay. Well, let me come with you. Wait. Hold up. How do I access the uh, thing on keyboard? The um. Tab is map. Escape. Oh, no, escape is help. Alt, Control, V. V is also map. C. Oh, X. Okay. X is map. Okay. Anybody? Anybody here? Absolutely nobody. What's up, Yi? Okay, Maz is back. Oh, right, escape. Okay. Um, where are we going, Mando? Yo. Let's go. Mando, are you sure you're okay? You went well out, all out in that sauna. Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even faze me. But you know, they're at the edge of hell. I promise between men was waiting for me. Yo. Come on. Let's go. That's Mondo's gay. For uh, for Mickey. What's his name? What's his name? Man, I'll check his door. Miyataka? Oh, Kiyotaka. Mondo and Kiyotaka are gay, bruv. For sure, bruv. They're talking about manliness bullshit in the uh, in the thing. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go, bro. Some bullshit's about to happen. Jim? Now what? Now what? Uh oh. You going in here for me? Hey? How come you haven't gone in yet? What? what? Don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. Can't go. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't ignore this. That's true, too. We have no choice. Oh my god, am I the last person to go in there? Shit. Yo, what's gonna happen, Ralph? Oh! Asking us to gather all of a sudden like this, what could he possibly want? Indeed, what might await us this time? Yo, what's up, Daisuke? Hmm, he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person in a while? How the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at an end of an episode. Something totally messed up with you if you can't, if you can laugh at a time like this. The buzz is actually messed up, hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. I was just admiring how you could live like that and keep your sanity. This? I'm not in denial. That reminds me. Remember when you kept talk talking about how the police or whoever should come and help us? How'd that turn out? Seems to me there's no sign or whatever of possible rescue. Well, that's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. Strange, that's true. No way the police would know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. It's because we're not in the real world, we're in some sort of dimension. Okay? Hmm. We got sucked into a crazy dimension. Surely. On the contrary, the mastermind may just be that powerful to take control of even the police. Oh, this might not be related, but... <laughs> then don't say hmm. it. Nope, I'm gonna say it. Like some occult mystery. It's about last night. I was near the main hall. Just staring off into space. And all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Mm. Sound that like, I don't really know what it was. Mm. But what kind of sound? Mm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, it, it was like a construction site. Like a like a bing 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 <laughs> like a, a tractor going through. Like a bing bing sort of like hammering hammering bullshit. The drills, the pneumatic drills, bro. Production site. I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean ahead of yours. Say what? What are you talking about, Toko? Oh, Rav, Rav. Oh, Monokuma. Hello, mate. What do you want? <sighs> He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. 
but yeah. <laughs> maybe a machine gun. Because it kind of like sounds like a construction in the way. What are you talking about? Aha, beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My mouth is sticky fingered. My lips are sealed. I am full puckered. Secret, little secret. Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us here? You're gonna be around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point? Before that, if you mind if I vent a little? I want edgy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because it's become of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Hey, the next I'm Blacken really hasn't shown up yet and I'm getting bored. Hey, um... So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate. Nice. So what's this guy going to pull out of the bag this time, bro, to get nibbers to stop killing each other? Bruv. What is it, mate? Is it another set of videos? No, you want to do the same shit, right? You want to do the same thing. Are you going to show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a thing to say, just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. But this time, it's embarrassing memories and secrets. How would he know that? As long as you're alive, given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating on my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. Okay. And those embarrassing, and those embarrass oh. and secrets are always Isn't that leak the nudes? The envelopes I have right here. Fuck it, dude. Leak it. Leak my nudes. I don't now. give a fuck. So take a second to take a peek. Leak my shit. Leak it. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. If you think about it, nudes aren't really that bad. I think about it, like a nude's not a bad thing to be leaked. Really, is it? It happens so often, and you just see that shit all the time. It's just, it's just, it's just social media that blows it up uh, out of proportion. But in reality, a nude's not even that bad. Think about it. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I obviously pulled what was written inside, it, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. What's my secret? Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. How old are you then? How old are you? Hey Siri. How old are you in fifth grade? I'm a spry piece of young ginger. What does that mean? What does that mean? That does not help me, Siri. Okay. How old are you in fifth grade? Eleven. Man's wet the bed when he was eleven years old. Bruv, listen. Oh, that that is embarrassing. But is that really something to murder somebody over? Right. Oh. oh. How? How do you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have twenty-four hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassingest. Secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe you're a role by a crowded detection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah! Who cares? You could just say it's a lie. Doesn't matter. It's a rumour. To, to everybody else in the outside world who doesn't know about M M Monokuma, right? It could just be bullshit. You just say it's bullshit. You don't, you don't have to say it's real. Nope, you got it, they're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? Definitely something I'd rather people not know, but... You'll never kill anybody over it. Would you say? It's true, why would you kill yourself? Oh, wet the bed when I was 11. Oh yes, okay, now you know that, I'm gonna kill you. He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of this thing. Kind of depressing. Well, stop trying to get us to kill each other. Is it because, for better or for worse, your memory is still away connected to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Why I put so much in preparing this next motive? Man, you're saying you really want to kill each other over this stuff, that just sucks. No. Why would I kill? Ah, oh, yes. You now know that I wet the bed when I was 11. Let me kill you. 
Okay, then in 24 hours I'll expose all his secrets just to make myself feel a little better. So sad, so depressed. Oh well. Fell not well. When almost convincing look of the pressed of dejection in his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged the bullet on this um... one? I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. And there's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? To Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those evidence right here, right now? If we do that, any and all motive for murder will be vanished. Quiet oh, right. down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing. <laughs> I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? <laughs> the slides. I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about it. As for me. Oh, do I? Not because it isn't pleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh. But it's just human nature to want to hear it. You say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on. Come okay, on. just a little bit. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. Hey. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. I agree with them, there's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. Everyone's got secrets, bro. But hey, I'll tell everybody I went to bed till 11, I don't give a fuck. Hey, but also, I don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... I don't want to talk about it. If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro is the one that suggested it, I've got to say no. <laughs> well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's out to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. Secret's so bad you'd kill someone to keep it? Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop before the secret talk, but... Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry you even more. Okay. Nice. Nice, let's reveal- let everybody know that I wet the bed at 11 years old. I don't give a fuck. I don't care! This is a school announcement. It is I don't give a shit. Go to bed. The doors to the dining hall will be okay then. Sweet mm -hmm. dreams, everyone. Get it. Hmm. Okay, night time already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. Uh, one by one, we headed back to our rooms. Are they really? Am I really gonna be um, upset that someone knows I wet the bed at eleven? Like, what are they gonna do? Laugh at me? Is that it? What's the worst that's gonna happen? They're gonna laugh that I wet the bed at 11 years old. Probably why, without too much of a struggle. Geez, I'm more tired than usual, super tired today. I'm pretty sure wetting the bed at 11. I'm sure most people do that more than often. But that can't be that uncommon, okay? Hey, do you have a second? I wanna confide in you. About the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active. Example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? Huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of a moment, but surprisingly, few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action. Way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. Maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? You should try reading between the lines. Between the lines. Morning. Good. Good morning. Why is he calling me? What's up, mate? <laughs> I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What do you want, mate? What are you doing yeah. here? I want to spice things up. So instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. Mm. As long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even with something, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates. What? Face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What happened? What are you talking about? That's for me to you and for you to find out. Someone die. What if? What if? Our pointless now when. Uh oh. 
Come on, dead. Where's everybody? Wait. Are you okay? Hey. Monokuma talk to you too? You're the only one. You're the only ones here. Where's everyone else? Either way. Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said. They've fallen victim to something that Monokuma mentioned. Perhaps. Can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. Everything I had to drive that thought away. Um... So if something really did happen, does that means someone did it because of what happened, happened yesterday? Can't be, that stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Just old memories, don't be so sure about that. At least someone thought it was more important than that. <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook, do you really you re do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This is a co-op game, it's every man for himself. What good does it do for me? To go out of my way to help you. The worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him. The serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. He's right. Let's all scrap and begin looking. The game is a foot. Oh yes. Okay. So, where do I go? Kitchen. No. Okay, I leave. I will leave. Get out. Uh, this first trial is sore and it's early so you can complete the chapter and I'll highlight the dynamic part of this stream. Okay. Alright, oi, wait, what's going on? Oi! Oi! So, um... I knocked on all the doors but nobody answered. Did they all go to see what happened? Uh, oh, and then what about the second floor of the school? That's the one place. That's new to all of us, so it seems like a natural place for. Okay. Can I check on my my thing, my map. Okay, trash room. Let's go to trash room. Let's see what Sakura is doing. Oh, wait. On the hair. Doesn't appear to be anything here. What are you doing here, Sakura? Did you find something? Oh no, it's just that what you said the other day must have been lurking in the back of my mind. Perhaps. If something has happened, they could have might try to spread this evidence again. Suppose that was floating around my subconscious led me here. Okay. Let's go then. Go back to where is it? The other section. Okay. Floor two. So this shit lags when I go onto a door. It's not lag, but the, the, the frames drop. I don't know what's wrong with it. The library. Keyboarding mouse just makes things a lot easier. Or the pool maybe? Or classroom? I guess not. Where do I go then? Do we go to the pool? A pool murder? Doors open, but aren't they supposed to be locked? Uh oh, what? Now what? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to oh. your heart's content. Okay. It's all so for what? I see. Other what he said, there can be no doubt on murder really has taken place. The locker rooms are suspicious, very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? So who could have died? So who we got? So we got Toko, uh, Kiyotaka, Hifumi. You know, we searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. 
We're not allowed. We're not allowed in the girls' locker room. Oh shit! Uh oh. Bro, they they took cheeky it all out. What? Why Chihiro? Hey, she wasn't doing anything, bro. I didn't talk to her much, but she was she was the least like bro. Chihiro was the least likely person to do anything bad. Okay. Here I wouldn't have done anything, bro. Why? Bruv. <laughs> A wild, almost primal was scream, scream escape from my mouth. Boys, life of the... Bruv, why did... Why Chihiro, bro? But it's just my screaming, but it was useless. I surged it out of me like water from the spring gushing out of the ground. Yaku, the on the other hand. Very strange. Just unusual. He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all, all unfold in front of a TV screen. I see. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended. Something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust? Why would somebody do that? Such a brutal way to kill someone? No, this is beyond brutal. Agree. They killed her. How could it not be brutal? No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. I'm like Osaka. This murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Interesting. Bro, this is a straight out murder. <coughs> it's almost every as if whoever did this did it for fun. See what I mean, don't you? My head was swimming. I was still reeling. Too confused to understand what he was trying to say. Before I could even begin to clear my head. What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming. Just went. Chihiro. Damn. But why Chihiro, bro? My body has been discovered. <coughs> certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. And now we have to find evidence. So who, yeah, but who did that? Why would you write, yeah, who wrote Bloodlust? What? You were unconscious during circus, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently when two, three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so... That the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly. The body discovery announcement, then Chihiro really is dead. Why? Come on, bruv. Before you start screaming your head off, go around everyone up. Seems like another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Bruv. Damn. The dead gathered on Chihiro's body. Damn. Didn't keep her safe. But there's another victim. It means we're now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? The dream. This is the dream. It's all just a dream. But I haven't been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. Shut up. Bro. So this is evidence gathering time. The word blast us was written on the wall. So exactly kind of dying message. It's too strange. But you know, that thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? A murderous fiend goes again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. At the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victim and blood. They're like a ghost. Stacking suddenly, they're slipping away before the police can catch up to them. 
Okay, it's not B. But I'm gonna say this. Look, it's not BRQ. It's not BRQ who did it because they're now making it too obvious. They are now making it too obvious to say, oh yeah, BRQ did it. And he's, oh, he's not acting, he's acting calm. <laughs> BRQ is smart. Okay? He's smart enough to know that him acting like, um, what is it, like a fake? Like fake being shocked, right? It's just more kind of bait, okay? You think about it, right? You knew someone was gonna die. You didn't know who, but you knew somebody was gonna die, and you know it has to happen. Okay, so in the and he's always had that back in the back of his mind. He knew it was gonna happen. He's not being like fake about it. Okay, he knows. So they're really trying to bait right now that it's BRQ, but I don't think it is. And what did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend who grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend for creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killing. What is this? Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack style. But why would anybody do that? That was just the work of a r the real Genocide Jack. What? The real? What? Are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! There's no way. Hmm. We're going as far to write blood loss at the scene. I'm surprised at their stupidity. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Coco. Tina was pointing towards the entrance to the girls' locker room. Coco was the last to arrive and now she was standing there. Why? She fainted. That did not sound good. Imagine not hanging out with Chihiro, best girl. Always best girl. Hina rushed over to collapse Toko and started shaking, trying to shake her awake. You okay? Come on, wake oh, up. Um... Remember what she said about how she faints any time she's blood. So she is hemophobic. Hey! Hey, we don't use that word around here, bruv. We don't use that word around here. That's gonna get you banned on Twitch. I imagine she does not want to watch too many horror films then. Uh, um... This is a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. No. Okay. The regulations if it's sleeping. Like on purpose. Mm. Ah. So. Since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count. Just gotcha. Coco, can you hear me? You gotta wake up. As if she'd heard her. Coco suddenly shot awake. As in, she jumped up. Where she was lying. Such a strange reaction. I was a total loss for words. She leapt straight up in the air, changing her stance as she did. In no time flat, she was just standing bruv, why is she putting that face? Bruv, what is this? Ahigao? Ahigao? Why is she why is she doing an Ahigao face, bruv? Ignoring the physical contortions she needs to go through, her motion was well, supposed to be haphazard. What? Sorry about that, I was just so shocked, you know, it happens right? Was I the only one? You okay? Fine, I'm fine. Well, was that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. The world has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom. It's a sea of truth and a web of lies. Bruv. Bruv. She's my first suspect. Quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. I don't know if it's fine. At least the stuff is gone. That's a good thing, right? It appears to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Might be best if you take her back to her room for the time being. I don't mind taking it, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. you need help? I don't mind. Sucker, could you help me? You totally ignored me? Hmm. Very well. To we'll take care of the girl and the rest of us can begin our investigation right away. I assume nobody is a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Hold on. They can rush into an investigation. Hmm. Mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realise that. Don't make me repeat my there was no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Is that right, Monokuma? Of course! Rise well, rain, but don't take it as a bad thing. It's just the facts of life. Because that's how graduation works. Oh, Chihiro. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us? Another one of us has killed a fellow classmate? Hmm? Or does she freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that. Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Actually, I don't have any others, sorry. 
the mulligan and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? You did, chum. <sighs> okay. Yes, monocular fires. I'm, uh, I've got a question. No way. Um, what if you kill yourself? What if you suicide? I guess nothing happens. Because if you do that, right? Um, Why? like this, I can't take it anymore. Oh. If you suicide, obviously no one's murdered you. So you just die, and no, and then people think a murder's happened, but it really hasn't. So you kind of phase everybody out, think there was a murder, but in reality there wasn't. Hey. Or I guess Malakuma would just come out and say you killed yourself. But wouldn't it be fun to think there was a fake murder? Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we will die. That's true, but to jump onto it so what? soon. You want to die? Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. Damn you! Brav. Brav, relax. The dead body's an object. Chihiro wasn't an object. Show a little respect or I'll beat some into you. Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Listen. Proof from what BRQ has said. Because... If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our lives are at forfeit. Yakuya is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro. Right. And unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. Forget more victims. Mess this up the dead meat. Hey, hey. Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. In any one killing game, a guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. <laughs> what? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually. I just came up with it. But if one person went around and killed everyone, the lovely student life would be all over, right? It's true. If I just went and killed, yeah. If I just went around and killed everybody, I'd win. Should have done this before. Bro, why didn't anybody think of this? Monokuma didn't introduce the rules, so you could have just gone around and killed everyone. Be like, yo, I'm the last one alive. Let's go. You could have done it at night. You could have left your room at night. Go into everyone's rooms. Oh, no, you wouldn't be able to break in, would you? So then. You could have killed everyone uh, whilst everyone was up and growing. And then there wasn't any rule, right? In that case, why not limit it to one person? Um, well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Yeah. <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class, bro. Mm. Hi. I can't, I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. Interesting. Definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the fuck up. So, um... Well, for now, Hako and me are going to drop Togo off at our room. Nice, I'm going to get dropped off. There is nothing to be done. Well, we have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed the girl, okay? then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. If I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Investigate. First of all, I better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Chihiro Fujisaka. At the time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. Body was discovered in the girls' locker room, second floor. Okay. The boy to the head with a blunt object. The the weight. Whoa, 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 whoa. No matter what, I've got to do what? Okay, hang on. I already have a, I already have a suspect, right? <laughs> that weight. Think about it. You need something from me? Naturally. Of course, life without purpose is quite dull, you know. Um, so what did you need? I'm gonna let you cooperate with me during my investiga investiga what? investigating. Purchasing a talent, the same talent which allowed you to solve the circus case. Dolph? No, I just, you seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have to honor the contributor to my investigation. You're inviting with you? You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, Let's then. Go. Now then, shall we get started? Oh, they're moving. No time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened. I feel like I'll be working with BOQ on this one. Okay, fair enough. Now, you can clearly see the weight was used. So, my first... Suspicion is how how heavy is that, and how many people can lift that up. 
The blood stain is a blood stain on the dumbbell. One of Pimafar said a blow to the head with a blunt object. What killed her? Does that mean the dumbbell was actually the blood weapon? I don't imagine it could have been anything else. Pretty sure. Unless we find something else. No. Nah. That's a debate. Guessing the killer bled out. The killer bl oh, No, the killer wouldn't have bled. I'm guessing Chiro's blood splattered onto the weight. But uh, the person, whoever, whoever you, it's gonna be that. Whoever used the murder weapon must have hit it. Wouldn't leave the murder weapon on the floor, right? Surely not. It's a dead body. He hit all. Very strange. The more I look at it, the more strange it seems. This must be genocide Jack's handiwork. Well, what? but I'm not sh still sure who did it. Is that what you want to say? <laughs> Wonder about that. The, 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 the thingy on the wall. Plus, it got some blood in it. it. Must have happened during the murder. Blood blast. Blood blast is written on the wall. Blood. What's the meaning behind it? Blood lust. Okay, blood on the floor. There's a fresh blood stain on the carpet. It must have been started during the murder. Okay. Uh, we've done those. Guess we can leave. <laughs> what? Got to check more? Are you sure? Okay, I'll talk to Kyoko. Took her time examining Chiro's corpse. She poked and prodded, going over every inch. Very strange women, you know. Got to touch a dead body with absolutely no trouble. Seems to be concentrated pretty hard. It's like she can't even hear us. Um, I want to talk to everybody. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else and then carried her. Very likely, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still. I think she came here on her own by choice. Like she say that. She'd been talking a lot about like, how she wanted to get stronger. They say she came here to exercise. But well, according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? He you know all myself are usually in the locker room during the day. She was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. Instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night. However, Perhaps, but it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She wanted to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. Needed support from others. They're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to try. That she also would have come someone else? Possibility. Okay. Right. <laughs> Bruv, okay. <clears throat> you know, real complex about being weak. You heard Shiro talk about it, right? Wanting to get stronger? Yeah, I do. Remember, she said that more than once. She sure did. I guess explains the trip down here. Did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a, a she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't all that strong. I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about that stuff. What's the chair was comp? Can't help wondering what it might be. Okay. But that's it. Now I believe it's time for us to move on. Ready? New clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect. Three but Let's go. Just satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. So pushy, I got caught up with the wrong person. Okay. This is our next location. This place is related to the investigation. Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? Okay. Right. Boys room? Hmm. We might as well go in there. Hey, why not go in there? There are a bunch of different pool related to items on the shelf which have nothing to do with the case. Absolutely fucking brilliant, mate. Okay, cheers for that. The, the life ring. Quotation donut. I don't think it's related to what happened to Chiro. What's the point then? What am I looking for? This? If I remember, this card reads meant to work about handbooks. What? Do you have an issue with it? If so, take it up with Monokuma. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So the only way... Wait, wait. So if she was dragged here... If she really was dragged here... Then... Then that means that it must have been a girl who did it. It had to be a girl... Who opened... Um... The thing, right? Because only girls can open the girls' room. With the, the handbook. So whoever did it had to be a girl. If she did get if she did get dragged there, she wasn't killed in the room. So if we find a murder weapon somewhere else, most likely she did get dragged here. But there's no blood being dragged in. Did that and quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Called for me. Has he been domesticated? It seems that Makoto had a question for you. You need something? Surely, sure, what's up? Um well it's just about this card yeah. reader. Yes, the card readers have all been designed to your handbook. You can enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. <laughs> and it's impossible for two people in a row to go through the door is unlocked, right? There was some sort of erotic terrace on the prowl. Ceiling mounted Gatling gun will initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. <laughs> and the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else their hand. Of course. Correctly correct. But then that means only girls can go into the girls' locker room and only boys can go into the boys' room. In other words, Hero's body being found in the girls' locker room means Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me. Allow me to tell me tell you what you're thinking. Shiro was found in the girls' locker room. Killer must have been able to get in there. So in other words, as such, the killer must have been one of the girls. Such ignorance. Good lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? Am I wrong though? If you pay closest attention to the regulations, the answer has been in front of you. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. What? Oh. Oh. The act of loaning a handbook is Borrowing is the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> I expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Togami family. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulation. <laughs> Knowing you, I bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. Yeah! You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Yep. Did it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. Then there's a loophole? In order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it? Why you? Just listen to you makes me want to pass out. Be like Bianca and get your poop together. <laughs> Or else I charge you with criminal negligence. What? Why? No more questions. Figure out the rest of your damn self. That's fine. Well, I know you're unfortunately lacking in mental facu faculties, but I'll fill fi you with myself. Let's head to the main hall. I hope you understand what's going on. Okay. Okay. Thing. Came to the main hall. So, what are you looking for here? I mean, I have to figure it out for myself. Okay. Why? This. This. The mailbox. There be something aside. It's an e-handbook. Oh wait, there's three of them. What are they doing here? They finally found them. You know these are here, Biakia. I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. Seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then, these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Saka? Hmm. Go ahead and confirm it yourself. Who did you turn on one of the handbooks and I did? Saka. You're right, this is Saka's handbook. Now, do you understand this is the key to the loophole? So you can borrow a dead person. I feel like I'm starting to get it. Should pay close attention to regulations. The answer has been for me the entire time. Loaning, prohibited, but borrowing. Someone else's is perfectly fine. I see, and now I understand. Main hall e handbook. Someone what? borrowed. Hold on a sec. That's Very wrong. Strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started up. Then the one that must won't turn on must be Leon's, right? Makes sense. 
Although we did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseball. Do it show us again? Bruv. The memory of it came flooding back. The cruel punishments which led to Leon's death. The execution. The mastermind con con co cocted. A cruel, heartless death. You're right, I wouldn't be surprised if the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Hey, 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 what? That e-handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure. And it's, it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it wouldn't do crap. Oh, but even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. That's this is a secret. I want you to go breaking any more handbooks. Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what his weakness was, right? Hmm, what to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. But you might ask, how could that be? Right. So it's not actually broken, it just won't turn on. What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case. It doesn't matter for now. I think so. Either way, something about it still bothers me. Broken. Okay, then this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. Be exact, not quite. Hmm? Not quite? What do you mean? What do you mean, mate? What do you mean by that, Biyuko? Okay? To be exact, not quite. Firstly, I want to reveal Chiro's killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Do you really think? Do you believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Me repeat myself. Boom, reaction. The murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? But nobody else it could be. The murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before they catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. That, they say he's killed thousands of people. That's gotta be an urban legend. Still, could one of us really be a demented, psychotic killer like that? You're not wrong to wonder, but words mean little right now. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. Can you, what, Brav, can you show me then? If you really want to show me, show me. What do you mean by that? I already did this. I have a basis. I believe that. There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This is what provided the evidence you need. Evidence? Does someone read really like that? Uh oh. Oh shit. Wait. Oh, someone else being killed? Someone else? Come on, please. You gotta help me. What is it, oi? What is it? Is this a serious emergency? Please, you gotta help me. Just calm down, okay? What is it? What is it? Imagine what happened. Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. I mean, she was acting strange earlier. Very strange. This is Toko. I must admit, I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Don't make me repeat myself. Okay. Yeah. Quick. Okay. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Go to Toko's room. What's wrong with it? Go in. What is it? You guys are too slow. I think you're just too fast. What's the emergency? Well, what happened in the girls' locker room? We had Toko in the room so she could lie down. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know, how she's been. But then when we did, weird. She refused to come out and she kept saying all this weird stuff. That's fine. We tried talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Door swung open slowly and silently. Bruv. Already crapped, an aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you. Why is she so oh, scared, bro? Up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? You won't allow it. Bro, something's in her room, bro. There's something in her room. Genocide Jack have control. What is it, her? 
That actually sung door in my face. What was that? You've been acting like that the whole time when it rang a little while ago. I'll drive out the killer, drive out the murderous fiend. Um... Doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door, but it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. Didn't even budge it. Looker was scared enough to bar her door. You think the same thing as Biokuya? Does she think the serial killer Genesis Jack really murdered Chief, bro? Is that why Toko is so scared? Whatever it is, I'm worried about her. It's her. It's her, isn't it? She's she's got bipolar disorder. Well, not bipolar, but she's got some sort of uh, she's definitely got some sort of um personality disorder. I think she's genocide Jack. Okay, I think so. Hey, Biokuya, do you think you could ask her to come out of her room? I mean, that's fine. Sure, whatever. Huh? You're gonna talk to her, Biokuya? Well, I guess you can be nice when you want to. Yoku is in front of the, her door, not making a sound, and press the doorbell. Wait, now what, mate? Ding dong. After a few moments... What do you hang want? on, you're so, so oh. annoying. Bacula. It's Yakuya. Yakuya. <laughs> Bacula. What? Scuffed Dracula. I'm sorry, I couldn't keep our promise. But don't worry, never again. I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. With that, the door slammed shut. Hmm. Even BRQ couldn't put it off. There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. Hold on. Hey, BRQ, what was Toko talking about just now? Can I go out of promise? Hmm, oh, I have no idea. Another one of the delusions, I'm sure. But, if I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Tina take care of her. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well then, let's go. Without waiting for a reply, BRQ has sped away. Yokuya, I heard to catch up. Okay, I tried to talk to him several times as we walked, but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept on walking towards his destination. Finally, his feet brought up, stopped him in front of a certain room. The library? Come on, let's go in. Okay. Let's go. Let's go in. Alright. Now what? Is the evidence that proves that it was Genesis Jack really in the library? Okay. Right. Do I really have to investigate everything here? Door. The archive, right? Hurry up and go inside. Let's go. What? What are you talking about, mate? What? What? What about it? Y'all stop saying Oi is the killer. It's not a killer, bro. So okay. In other words. Why should she be the killer? If she is, then I'm just gonna. Con I'm not gonna just continue the game. Okay. Right, so what am I looking for? This book looks moved. This book. Stuff is stuffed to the files. We've got fear thinking I'll pick one at random. I have a sharp eye to indeed to select that file. That's a report on a presidential assassination. The original was kept at the National Library. It won't be classified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in a peeking at it. Making a sound. I'm the lucky student, aren't I? So I, I, if I guess, I'm just bound to get it lucky. That's right. Okay. So many files for these things. The documents are dangerous. Dangerous. They detail all people who can control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a commoner. You mean like memories of the diet or something? Okay. Oh, I mean the ones with real power. A secret council controlling everything from the shadows. Illuminati. If you're ready to be disappointed for it, take a look. There are some very interesting people in there. Kidding, mate. Am I? There you go for now. Right, a lamp. A lamp. What can we investigate about a lamp? Oh yeah, it's the same one I saw BLK using in the library. What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? It was here before, then I moved it over there. Too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Right. And the steps. I open up the steps. The report. My bro, I read that. Let me. Oh, the box. The box. Shoe box. The wooden box is empty. Although judging by the smudges, as if something was inside. I wonder what it was. There was an extortion extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful while I was in the library. Okay. Done. 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 And behind you. Kind of thick files stuffed into the bookshelves. 
<clears throat> if you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic disturbing photos of all kinds of crime scenes. The kind of thing any normal person would ever want to look at. What do you mean? All those files, their investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police only. Not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Hmm. So, you finally begin to understand the true splendor of this library? The only reason I was interested in this library is because of this room right here. Interesting. Home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? Can't be for real, right? Such ignorance. That's your guys' problem. If it doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Well, it's not that, it's just... It's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. Could anyone have put this all together? So as it goes to show just how much power Hope's Peak truly wields. Or perhaps, Mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. It's no use. Can't keep up with all this, it's just too unreal. Wrong, still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. What do you mean usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple. Those things don't exist anywhere in the world. You don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. Don't pull your punches, do you? Besides, what you consider usual, based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? Documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times. Ah oh, yes, so because you because you did it. Fine. But all this has to be top secret confidential stuff, so why? My family has a reading room, just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, not as dusty. Hmm. Rem members of the Togami family have access to any kind of government-related documents. That includes foreign power powers as well as domestic. How is that possible? So in other I already words... told you, there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> My family is a member of that council. And I, have, and I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. But to become such a ruler, I must know of all levels this world backwards and So whenever I have the time, I'd like to read whatever documents and materials are interested in. Okay. Why I can proclaim, without a doubt, the materials gathered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. The IQ is actually starting to scare me more than once the actual hmm. mastermind. And what's always interested me most with the cold case police investigation reports, reading one, reading through those reports always have been a hobby of mine ever since I was little. Excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases by just reviewing the reports. And among all those reports, one of my recent favourites is the Genocide Jack case. As he talked, BOQ, I grabbed a specific file from the shelf. That's right. This is a complete case file. Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack case has been compiled hmm. in here. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarise the main points. Again, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. First characteristic. That every crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victims of blood. Second, is that the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust is written in blood, and the victim's body is suspended. It's exactly the same as what happened to Chikiro. <laughs> Don't be surprised, the best part is yet to come. For the second characteristic, where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and other higher up. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about the aspect of the crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. Hmm. Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse, her body was most recently mounted in this fashion. So how could you, how could the killer have known about suspending that That's victim? Right. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. In other words, Corporate isn't a copyright copycat killer. It's the real Genocide Jack. In other words, that right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack was hidden himself among the rest of us. Then Genocide Jack really is such a brutal, fiendish killer, really is walking around among us. Interesting. Hmm. Things are starting to get interesting, aren't they? Never imagined a killer with such reputation would ever become a part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what you've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. Such ignorance. You get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. What is it, mate? What? What is it? Well, the Genocide Jack case file, could you let me see it? We didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time.
Free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Bruv. Ryokuya handed me the file and I flipped it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly my hand stopped and I had reached the page with photos from the scene of the crime had all been collected. Bruv! The names of the genocide Jack's victims ran on for several pages. Damn. Everybody dying out here. Okay. Scissors though? But there was all scissors in there. Ken Harada, 32. Tetsuhiro Honda, 17. Soji Gaku, 23. Kano Issei, 14. Takeshi Yoshida, 30. Kamatsu Taro. The names go on. But one thing came perfectly clear as I read. All the killers, counts of the victims were killed and suspended in the exact same way. Now, a, at the scene of every murder, the word bloodlust was left. The victim was blood. Hmm. I'll take a look at the next page. We'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page? What about it? Profiling it. Results, all the crimes took place either on weekdays or at night, or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for killings to place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could suggest that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forwards, unlikely there was an external reason for this. This confused behaviour suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from disassociative identity disorder. So in other words, the key point here is that the culprit may have well have a split personality. Yeah, it's Toko, bro. Had to be split personality, the kind of thing you see on TV. So I'm a part of a totally unbelievable story, but this one, way more unbelievable than anything else up to now. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. Okay. Let's go. All right, we should get going soon. Hmm. Where are we going? Anywhere but here. We finished our business, haven't we? It's Toko, the bro. Hey, what's up, Tyree? Yeah, it's it's Toko, bro. It has to be because it was it was um. She she said I can't let genocide jack out, right? So what she was saying, what she means that she can't let it out, like her personality. It was her. It had to be Toko, bro. Only a girl can get into the girl's thing. Yeah, and there's a split personality disorder. She has to have that. It was her. It has to be. I don't have time to play with Come on, you. enough of your annoying misapprehensions. You really think we'd be together this whole time? Take responsibility for yourself. Do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. I like this layout. Yeah, this layout's kind of clean, don't you think? Chat and shit. Little persona kind of layout. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. At the same time, I uncovered some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack. He's the one that killed Shiro. Murderous Fiend is one of us. Who is it? I can find out. So, okay, so it was a student, it was a girl, so it had to be a girl student, who is Genocide Jack. So Genocide Jack really is a girl, because that's the thing, right, they say Genocide Jack, they assume it's a man, bruv, but in reality it was a female. I do have to go back to the crime scene, the girl's locker room, I should check the boy's locker room too. And the other, others might have to come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it, I need to everything I can. Yeah, they think they say genocide Jack, making you think it's a guy, but in reality it's a girl. I did it. Think about it. What's the classic way to go about it? Of course they would do that. Of course they would make that the way to go about it, right? Okay. Go to the boys' room. See if there was anything in here. Oh, what's that on the floor? Oh wait, the poster's changed. Where's the poster chain, bro? There wasn't the female poster in here? This poster. The popular boy band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite fit seem to fit in the boys' locker room. Yeah bro, hang on. Poster switched. The strange stain. What what is it? Nice. Boys locker room carpet. A shit stain? What is it, bro? It looks like a shit stain. Or it seems like a shit stain. Then that's it. 
Or we should go to the pool. Go to the pool. There's oil in here. No. Okay. Let's just lock her. Guess not. There'll be a clue in there. Okay. We go back. Oh, right, escape. Tab is there. Okay. The bees exit. How do I how do I exit on keyboard? Why? Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. Right, leave. Right, so there's a shit stain and the post has been switched. We're just going to go back to the female, the, the girl's room. Just to investigate that. Right, so. Everyone's still here? Nice. So, why's the post have been switched? It's the blood stain poster. The blood is the most noteworthy part, but. Big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable too. Girls locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd find something like that. But that was in the boys room the other day. Oh but wait, this reminds me, the poster in the other locker room is that's right, there's definitely something strange about this. The boys locker room is a poster of a popular boy band. The girls locker room is a poster of a big breasted swimsuit model. Have the posters have been switched? They were, why? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little more. I guess it, maybe she got killed in the boys' room? She must have been killed in the boys' room. And then moved to the female's room? Because she must have got killed, the blood splattered on the post- No, what, what? How? Ah. Uh, why would they switch? That can't be, because then why would you put the body there with the poster? Um... Hey Kyoko, have you made any progress in your investigation? Generally speaking, but I have to get going, I have something unrelated to take care of. What is it? Well, Nothing you need to worry about, just concentrate on the murder. So then. Kyoko, let me give you one piece of advice. You just examine Chiro's body one more time, priority. Also, her handbook is missing. I want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it, I'll be praying for your success. That, Kyoko's turned and left the girls' locker room. Okay. The handbook has gone missing. Interesting. Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said Friday, but I do have my limits. But I'll give it, give it a shot. Let's see. Hands are bound, but what's also rope? Rope was used to prop her up and have a crucifix position. Oh, it's the plug! Rope has a plug? Wait, so then this isn't rope at all. But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. She was fed to injure was a blow to the head, which means I her in the head to kill the killer. That's right, there's the issue of her being suspended in the fatal blow. First, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. But seeing them again, after looking through, the genocide driver also is not quite right. Yeah, bro. No. Because the genocide jack is scissors. What does this all mean? Places of dead body. The one thing that's most likely to tie all these missions together is the true nature of the rope that was used to defend Chikiro. To figure that out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help me look at the Genocide Jack case file one more time. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if we go back in the boys' room, get the poster again. Why is that brown stain? So someone came in here and switched posters. Why? Why was it switched? I don't get it. Because I remember the other day when we were in there going to see Oi. The, uh... The thing was switched. I feel as if... Have a stat increase to me. Evidence? What did you find? I don't feel that just yet, but I guarantee that what I found was still the killer's breath from his lungs. Are you sure about that? Miss Lundenberg said she'd witnessed something worthwhile too. She refused to tell me. It's like when that girl bullies the boys she likes, right? The warehouse by the dorm. She was there, but at the same time, not there. Like what? What is there? What evidence? 
this. What do I need to look at? The float? The ring? What am I looking at, bro? I'm sure... Okay, maybe I've got to talk to them. I think it wants me to talk to, uh... Talk to the, uh, other, the, uh, guys. Well, Mando. Sakura. You know what time I exercise in the girls locker room, right, Sakura? I use it nearly every day since I open up. Sometimes Hina and I use it together. Okay, then, let me ask you something. In the posters in the boys and girls locker room have been switched. I'm sorry. Sure, I can't really say. I never really paid any attention to the posters. However... There is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. See, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish ex- Oh, okay. That's the stain on the floor. We have protein coffee? Mm -hmm. The warehouse is not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee down a glass of it every after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, so uh, the other day I spilled some carpet in the girls' locker room and it left stain. But the carpet's gone now. The carpet's in the boys' room. Stain? I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Exactly, I noticed earlier the stain has disappeared. It's in the boys' room. Someone switched the posters and the. The carpet? So. So she got killed in the boys' room? She must have. So she got killed in the boys' room. Someone used her, her handbook to open the girls' room. Right? Um. She got killed in the she got killed in the boys' room. Blood spattered on the carp on the boys' carpet and on the on the poster, the boys' poster. So they dragged her body into the girls' room, used her handbook because it's missing to get into to be able to get into the room. Switch the posters. Switch the carpets. And um you make it look like it happened in the girls' room. Okay. There was a guy. So it wasn't a girl, it was, it was a guy. I only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. No. Still, isn't it usually, unusually clean as if there was never a stain to begin with? No, it's because I got the, I know the stain. The boys' room. I'm sorry. Okay. The stain I made is gone now and it does seem odd. I assume someone came along and cleaned it up. Still, isn't it unusually clean? Okay. Because it was in the boys' room. So she got killed in the boys' room then. So it was it's not Taka. Can't be. We mentioned it, but she was a girl. It just says the same thing. So Bro, I'm trying to think. If it was a guy, then who was it? Think about it. I need to go back to the library. What girl could it, what, what, what guy could have done it? Who's got personality disorder? Five. The thick layer of dust on the desk. Guess not. The desk, the... Oh, I'm trying to... Oh, the lamp. Okay. It's not plugged in. The lamp's cord isn't long enough to read the outlet, but last time I saw it, there was definitely one and was def definitely there. That's why I'd be okay with using an extension cord. There's no extension cord here now, I wonder if... Okay. Yeah, it was the one used to... Go her. The hero. Okay. The box. The lamp, another lamp. Oh wait. Uh, the desk lamp, Bika grabbed a little thing from over here and put it over there. There is dark over there. Did that was a murder weapon? So, you're lucky not to live in the USA? What is it? What? What? Is that real? Porn? 
Porn needs to be banned on the internet. My little cousin, who is eight years old, watched porn for the first time. Because his friend from school sent it to him. Makes me so angry. Okay. But shouldn't eight year olds not be on the internet? Exactly. Maybe the maybe the parents should restrict their kid from going on the internet? Listen, okay, I'm not gonna lie yeah. When I was eight listen, I saw I watched porn at a very early age, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I saw some titties, bro. I saw some titties when I was like eight or nine, bro. I don't remember how old I was, but I saw some shit. Okay? I saw some shit. Alright? It was inevitable. I was always like on YouTube and shit. Um like early on. Okay, and I saw shit, bro. Okay, I saw some very interesting stuff. Just how it is. But yeah, your parents should restrict you from being on the internet. It's not, it's not your, it's not anybody else's fault. It's the parents. You need to restrict your kid from. That's why parental controls exist to protect your kid from that shit in the first place. Why they're there? Right. Okay. I guess we'll just read through these and see what happens. There. There we go, it's gone. I'm gonna take it out of the archive. If you want to do something like that, I can't think of anyone but your cure. Okay, he removed it. Really took it out, bro. Okay. So I need to go find your cure and ask him about it. Right. Hold up. I think I've got everything I need. Well, not probably not everything actually. We need to go to. Who do I go to? Who do I go see? We need to find the murder weapon. I don't think the weight was the murder weapon. And even so, wasn't that weight pretty heavy? Wouldn't the weight be a guy's weight? Anybody here? Anybody's here? Okay. No. Right, so where do I go now? Leave. Huh. Interesting. Stop. Maybe we should have contested that Umbrella's and secrets after all. Damn it, I'm sorry, Chiro, as well, because I wasn't strong enough. Room. Oh, we have to go there when we're ready, aren't we? Okay. Damn, so. Whose room am I going to? Oh, yeah, the bathhouse. I forgot that was open. Okay. Anybody in here or anything? The locker open. I don't see anything inside the entrance. Yeah, there's nothing in the locker. Cool. In the laundry, maybe? Someone tried to wash any some clothes or some shit? I tried to wash it this time or something? Okay. I'll read everyone. Come suit. Okay. Washing machine. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm very, very certain these washing machines might have something in it. Bro, okay, fine. I guess not. Leave. I guess not. Um. What's, what is in there? The warehouse? Oh, we have to go to Celeste. That was it. Celeste wants to speak to us. Hello. Someone says something about you. What are you doing here? The house is amazing. It's absolutely everything that one might need to live a full life. Food to close the towels. There's an endless supply to choose from. See that? Have you found anything related to the Most case? Unfortunate. You're going to ask me that. Thought, talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you. I see it was pointless. Did you find something? <laughs> so, very well. I will tell you and only you. Okay. Actually. Last night I saw her here. The hero was in the warehouse. Okay. So she was out already. Really? It was right before the night time. 
Hmm? What are you doing here this late? this late? Oh. Oh, um, I was just... Are was... you planning to go exercise, perhaps? Who's going to the gym? What? How did you know? Okay. Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. True. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm what was she doing in there? Should I get the coffee? Maybe? <sighs> Stuff the jacket into a bag in a hurry. It was almost like trying to hide it. Okay. She was trying to get a coffee, maybe. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, I assume she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but... It would appear she ignored the nighttime rule. Headed directly to the girl's room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this ever would have happened. You get what you deserve, I suppose? So apparently, she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. Right. Okay. The strange thing is, there was no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag, so I said she was George Shiro carrying. Okay. So that's gone as well. I mean, the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Uh, uh, the burner? The list account. The burner. Incinerator. Okay. The best to get the shells. See if there's anything good there. Oh, towels, jackets. Okay, so she came in to get the jacket. Cool. Right. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else here. We got Celeste's account. Interesting. I want to go to the incinerator. The trash room. I want to go to Taco at last. Okay. Got the gate in the way. I can't actually get inside. Anyway, it's not related to the case. There is. There's nobody left who could do what Leon did. Sure about that? Are you sure about that? Except the person who has who has the access. You're forgetting that people have access to this room. And that's here for me, right? For me, he's the only one who has access. Ring doorbell. Doorbell. Can I ring it? Um. Go my room. Okay. Dining room. Right. Okay, hello, oi. Get anything in the dining room, let's see. Knives, the knives are still gone. Okay. Absolutely nothing, mate. Get 100 coins. Alright, I'm gonna talk to Oi. See what Oi has to say. Dining room. What's up? Hmm. Same as before, she won't come out, she just keeps mumbling at Genocide Jack, so I just left her there. Left her? My head was all swimmy. Getting pretty hungry. Don't worry, I want to head back as soon as I'm done eating. Loco is not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? Huh? Donut, of course, of course. Three things I'm sure God created. After space and donuts. Hmm. I bet she her would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her big regret. She really loves donuts, huh, Brad? Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with other girls much. Like, trying to keep distance from her. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you invited her, you and her invited Chira to exercise with you. She yeah, was, totally. Yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. She just shy. Mm. I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind? Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex? But you fine with the opposite ah. sex. Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? 
You think so? Never really saw as I kind of go. Okay. 